The AGM-45 Strike is an anti-radiation missile designed to home in on enemy radar systems. But it comes with some unique challenges. The community often debates whether its biggest issue is the missile's limited range, the bugs affecting its functionality, or the lack of first-party information about its implementation. One major limitation is its bang-bang uh, control system, which causes the missile to make hard corrections throughout its flight. This rapidly drains its energy and severely reduces its effective range. While lofting the AGM-45 is often the best way to extend its range, the loft mode seek ahead, which uh, is supposed to activate automatically, most of the time fails to engage, resulting in missed targets even when the missile is launched perfectly. Despite these problems, the strike can still be a powerful weapon when used correctly. In this video I'll demonstrate how to overcome these issues by using the direct attack seek ahead and combining it with the WRCS loft technique. With these methods, you can reliably engage an SA-3 SAM site from outside its lethal range. Let's dive in. First, uh, let's understand what the Weapon Release Computer System or WRCS does. It's actually quite simple. Using your current altitude, the aircraft's pitch and the target's altitude, the system computes the range to the target. This calculation is basic trigonometry, performed in real time as you place the peeper on the target's location. Once you press and hold the pickle button, the WRCS locks in the range and calculates the appropriate release parameters. When these parameters are met, the meatball indicator lights up in the cockpit, signaling that it's time to launch the strikes. The system then fires the missile automatically after more or less 5 seconds. Typically, this process is preceded by a loft maneuver to maximize the missile's range and allow for safer engagement distances. For this tutorial, since we are launching hot strikes in direct attack mode, our lofting needs to be aggressive. It's also good practice to overestimate the range to the target by manually placing the peeper over the SAM site. But now, let's jump into the jet and see how it's done. So we're gonna fly this plane right here. We have four strikes mounted. They are all Mach 49, Mod 1 direct attack strikes. And the mission consists in four SAM sites, uh, which will spawn sequentially once the, the track radar is destroyed. First SAM site has the interception range set to 80% evasion and arm to off. I don't think that makes a difference for some side days old and uh, attack profiles that high. Second SAM side is default settings, evasion arm on, same. And the third one is all default settings. So even if we're using direct mode strikes we're gonna deliver them with the WRCS lock. So if what I told you stuck to your head, we go to the map, we see more or less the target area. What's the altitude? Altitude is set right there. It is 15 feet, which we can which we can actually interpret as being zero as the computer has a resolution of more or less 50. So that, okay. that's pretty easy, straightforward for this mission. We need to turn on all our strikes pylons. AGM-45, um, flag director on, and the f reject to the lower position. Uh, this setting is pretty interesting. It uh, makes it so that the flight path is only computed by using the aircraft's navigation system. If it, if it was in the middle position, it will use the strike sensor to do the calculation at the end. And that, as I understood, means uh, lower position, but so we should not worry, we, we go to DF reject air to ground mode with the site. We don't need to put any reticle mills, as you see it doesn't move because right, it's in the cage Eight, position if we are properly set AGM45. Master arm on to turn on our arms and you see the needles appear. So the arms are picking up the enemy, are picking up the emitting target 
and we are more or less on target and the SA3 is right here if this tone is a little bit loud to you back here you can turn it down with the overall tone control that's that right there we are lofting a direct mode seeker strike so what does this mean it means that when we shoot the active strikes they're gonna be active as soon as they leave the rail so they're gonna look for an emission and they're gonna maneuver towards that emission let's try to do an attack run as the manual says on the first sam site so our altitude is angel 14 which is good we need a little bit more speed to be safe See, we're picking it up again right here I'm gonna line up the needles and I look outside the window oh there it is right there and you see computer range 12 nautical miles that's how it does it now we have the pull-up queue right here so I'm gonna Put my pipa on target. Gonna keep, gonna pickle and lofting up. This said pull up. Donut means it's good. I went a little bit past it, but don't worry, there's active strikes. And we're gonna take a defensive posture. And we're gonna look at the strikes and they are already flying towards the target but I lofted them a little bit more than necessary so that should happen and as you see we got three shacks on the target and one went a little bit further do we have to wait for the pull-up queue to show up? are we rearmed? as the mission has infinite weapons we have more and the second sign site is up you see I'm picking it up, I'm centering the needles I'm looking out the window and right there it is I don't have the queue have a strong tone that means it, it's looking for me with a higher frequency uh, we don't have the pull-up queue and right he already nose. shot at me three. so uh, that's no good right that that's a that's a standard same side engagement range default so what what did you do wrong Well, actually, the manual doesn't doesn't tell the whole story. You, you, we don't need to wait for this plop queue to show up. We can look at the range. We're under 20 nautical miles. If we're under 20 nautical miles, what's the point in waiting? We can shoot the strikes and start lofting. And actually, we can do that very fine. And we still have the queues. So let me show you. Let's get some more distance. And by using the RWR, we are moving to we are moving the nose towards the SA3. We have needles. I'm gonna lining line up the needles. A little bit more on the left. Looking for the target area. That's it. Putting the pipper on it, I'm looking at the range 15 14 miles, that's really good. But remember, we have the active strikes, so we're gonna put the pipper a little bit over it. I'm holding pickle, you see, no pull up cue, but we are going to pull up, going full burner, hold the pickle button. This looks like a good pull up, I'm waiting for the signal. Here's the donut signal and that's a singer 12 o'clock time score three. and we can defend missile 12 o'clock it's 
they convert to call it easy maneuver. It's great to have visual contact with the missile. That's a launch warning disappeared. And let's see the strikes. <coughs> You see the strikes are active and the strikes have a very good altitude as we at them quite a bit and from a high altitude high speed scenario so you know they eat their energy but if they start from up high it's not that bad you see all four flying formation that's a beautiful sight to see for us not for them i think <coughs> Target. Will you look at that? That was amazing. So, first some side is gonna go up soon, and we're gonna do an even longer range toss, maybe right, 18, 19 three. nautical miles. So there we have the needles, and he popped up on the warning receiver. I'm gonna line up the needles a little bit on the right. A little bit more. Should be there. Oh, there it is, near the coast. Range 24 nautical miles. Gonna keep my altitude. Let's check range again. 20 nautical miles. I think we can do it by the time we're lining up properly. Right now, I'm lining up. Him right there, pickle, afterburner, and lofting. I think I'm gonna loft uh, 30 degrees. Stay level, stay level. Right, I'm gonna keep this attitude and wait for the donut to appear but it's mean the, that means the strikes are gonna launch in five seconds because that means we've met the parameters for the launch All right the speed is good no cue how good distance is reading 18 nautical miles oh there it is the donut Magnum times we got four. Right on our nose. SA3. Missile, missile, missile. 12 o'clock. Just while entering his tax sphere. So we were at Angels 30. So that was good for him and also for us. You can practice at different altitudes, different profiles, flying straight, flying down, whatever. Maybe start by being low and lofting uh, to only 10,000 but you see this time we had a very high loft and the strikes are coming down on top of them look at that they are super fast and shack the first one right on the forehead 